Wow, 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 it doesn't get much better than that. Harlequin, CRC, Nuterbrax, all in the same area. And it's not just a Harlequin, that's one that we saw in pictures and we've been searching for for seven, eight months since you got here. We, we, were, we were pretty much convinced that there wasn't that species here. Harlequin or the CRC? Uh, Cersei. Oh yeah. We only uh, see pictures in Maktan and Sipu of that one. First got, time here. We've got a few other Cerseys here you guys see it on the channel. But this particular Cersei that we just found, we've never seen for eight months. We always see pictures of Roblon or something else, but we didn't think they were here. And we finally found them. Uh, and there was like five in one coconut. <laughs> so you guys are definitely gonna watch that. You're definitely gonna wanna watch till the end of this video because it's, it's probably, I'd say probably the rarest and coolest nudie we've found yet. Seriously, yeah, yeah, perhaps. seriously, yeah, might be the best one. Plus, we saw a Harlequin stream and so many other. I can't believe that was just one dive, that was awesome. And by the way, me and Alex, Alex found this Harlequin about three or four days ago, and it didn't even have the blue dots on them, so it's a Jew and I want. But today, a oh. few days later, we're seeing it already grown double his size, probably. <laughs> so, his blue spots weren't there the other day. No. You guys definitely want to see this video, it's gonna be an awesome one. Crazy. So as I said, we are heading pretty far down south to our favorite dive site called Maltepai. It's going to be an awesome dive today. And of course, you don't dive Malatapai without seeing a few nudies, like this little guy. We already have this guy in our book, but this is a little tiny juvenile and really cool to see. He's pretty photogenic and pretty cooperative as well. I actually spent quite a bit of time with this little dude. He was sitting on the inside of a coconut, like a half a coconut that was just sitting on the seafloor. And I spent quite a bit of time trying to get the right angle and trying to get the camera to focus on him. Cause it's actually really tiny, probably a centimeter or less in length. And then nearby, we found our old friend, the Harlequin Shrimp. He's been there for about a week at least. Except last week when we saw him, he didn't have his blue spots yet. This is definitely a baby and the smallest Harlequin Shrimp we've seen. And this week, he's grown his blue spots. Pretty soon those spots will be quite big and colored in. It'll be pretty neat to see. This guy wasn't easy to film. He was actually eating a starfish and the starfish was moving. He was trying to walk away. So try to think about that. This guy was eating a starfish alive. Poor little dude. Nearby hill was an even tinier nudie break, a weird one that we've only seen a few times so far. This guy was sitting by himself on a sponge and just kind of hanging out. But what I thought was fascinating is I could see his heartbeat. This 
this is a really bad spot to be. It was really hard to fill because he was on a sponge where I couldn't set up a tripod or lean on the sand or anything. So it's just kind of handheld. And of course, I'm not filming in slow motion right now, just trying to get the higher resolution. So it's kind of hard to be completely still. A little bit later, we found this little tiny pick me cuttlefish. He was so cute. He was hiding behind what I call a churro sponge. And he's actually really tiny. I know he looks big here in the screen, but I'd say he's about an inch long and very shy. These two loonies were having some kind of fun together. I don't know what they were doing. I thought these were two different species. I wasn't sure. So I wanted to make sure we got a photo of each just in case we had a new one for the book. But it turns out they're the same species. There's just different varieties of colors for these guys. But guys, this next critter is one that we've been searching for for a long time. Kind of the holy grail of all Nudie Breaks. It's the Butterfly Circe. This guy we've seen in photos and videos from Rob Blonde and Lembe and Bali and places like that. But we just assumed there was none here in Dowin or the Negros coastline. Because we've searched everywhere, hundreds of dives, finding all sorts of species but never this one. So we just kind of chalked it off as not being here. And then one day, on a half coconut here in Malatapai, we found six of them. Yeah, there's a whole family, all different sizes, all living on this coconut. It's just crazy to think. For the last eight months, searching a few times a week, just doing hundreds and hundreds of hours underwater, we've never seen these guys. And then one day we see six, all in one dive. It's just amazing. And you can see why we wanted to find this one. It is incredibly unique and amazing looking. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching. This might even be the cover for our book. And if you're interested in that book, you can go down below and sign up for our mailing list and we'll let you know when it's available. Thanks for watching. So I hope you guys enjoyed that footage, especially of the rare Circe Lady Break. Like I said, we haven't seen that one before. We've been searching for it specifically for a long time. Because we have friends posting up from Roblon and Mactan, other places around the Philippines. But we couldn't find them here. Nobody can even confirm they were here. But I guess we just did. Uh, so, I'm always practicing with the uh, TG6. <laughs> no, trying different settings, trying different lights. And I would say a lot of people, including myself, you get blinded by how awesome the subject is. Like... If you're filming a whale shark, people forget if it's good or bad quality, you know? So we're lucky where we have all these subjects, but I think I don't want to get blinded by how awesome they are. I want to produce as high quality as I can with the cameras I got. So I'm always uh, doing that. And I think I'm going to have a TG6 course coming out soon because somebody asked me lights, settings, everything, especially for macro. So I should do that. And Finn, it's kind of the same with him. He's got insane critters to film. And everybody's like, that's amazing because I've never seen that before. But he's also doing really high quality shots and videos as well. So uh, always improving with these. What are you using today? The We got strobe, we got video light. And had a nice and convenient setup. That's the backscatter. That's the backscatter sloot. Yeah. Cool. And this stroke. Video light and then 
pictures, strobe. But I don't recommend them having the same arm because when you go from picture to video, you have to figure out where they like oh, yeah. every single time. Oh, I bet, I bet, yeah. So if you have a separate strobe light, you can have them both aim in the same place. Right, right. So that costs a lot of wasted time when I go for video. To yeah, I had to leave the thought of that. Set everything up again and again and again. So is this the uh, A7S today? Yep. Yep, yeah, video, video day. It. Even the picture, someone's going to take picture because the auto, auto focus is bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Super fast. That's cool. Alex found some awesome critters today, so... Uh, I mean, you can look at his channel. Actually, I don't think he's going to post it for a while. He's got some secret stuff coming up, but... <laughs> he's, got other, he's got other footage. <laughs> But uh, anyways, awesome dive. Uh, another looty bank for the book, right? Say dive, guys. We're even thinking about making that with the title or the cover photo. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. But if you're interested in the book, there's a link down below. Join our mailing list and we'll send out a mass it's email. The book is sick, guys. First book. It's sick. We're almost done. We are done. We're just waiting for the editors. And then, well, we keep adding more while we're waiting, but uh, go join the mailing list and we'll notify you when the book is ready. Anyways, thanks, Alex. Hello. <laughs> See you later.